The final aspect of MySQL I CRUD is deleting the elements. So in here, our elements are these usernames that we had. We have the ability to add, list, and update them. So this is all coming into here. Now what we want to do is we want to add the ability to delete a user. So inside our code here, we're basically going to take a copy of this and paste, and this is going to be list delete and we'll save. Now here, let's go into our functions over here and we can take a copy of this function. It does basically everything we want. We can scroll down and paste and this is now list delete. So notice the reason why we can copy and paste is because effectively we're doing the exact same thing. We're looking at the users table, we're showcasing everything and then we're just changing how this works. Now, because we're deleting, we're not going to be using a form, so we can get rid of these lines, we can get rid of that line, and we can get rid of these, but we'll just leave them there for the moment whilst we type in the new line. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a normal ahref, so ahref equals, we're going to go into the pages slash delete.php. Now here we're going to implement a get capability where we're adding in the ID and it's going to equal dot dollar sign, let's put it with an R, dollar sign row, square brackets, ID. Now to here. Here and we're going to go uh, delete. We'll put space. Let's put in the username here. So we'll go dollar sign row username. And then after that, we'll put in a line break and close it off. So now we can wipe out these two lines. So let's have a look. We should have. Uh, actually, let's put the break at the front of the line. Break here. We'll close that off. So let's see. While it loops, we will list all of that. Okay, so let's save that and check it. We'll jump into here. We'll hit refresh. Uh, undefined key username. That's because it's not username. Uh, name, sorry. So save that. Jump back. Hit refresh. There we go. So now we can delete either of them. Notice how they're all links here. Now, if we did want to make the names links as well, what we can do is what we should have done is I'll put the slash A here. That'll close that off. Refresh. As you can see, now we have the delete and then the names coming after it. Now, from here, we want to send them to this delete page. So we'll Basically take our update, same kind of deal, file, save as, delete.php. Now from here, we're not using post memory. We're using get memory, so we want to make sure that's get. So that's get. So that means it will collect this information here. Oops. So this ID is what we're looking for. It'll find it here. Then we're just going to run, why not? Let's change to delete data. Delete data. We don't need the username at the end because we have the ID, which is the unique identifier. So we'll get the ID and then we'll delete it. So now we're going to create this function. We'll come back into here. Up a little. Function delete. Dollar sign SQL. And inside here, we can go delete from users where ID equals dollar sign ID. Now that we've got our SQL, we'll run the command if bracket my SQL underscore query bracket 
law sign db denote law sign sql echo record deleted false echo failed to delete and we'll add in that error again so we've got dollar sign dollar sign db net error and a semicolon cool that's pretty much it so we have these two that are working together let's see if it works so let's jump into here refresh the page we'll hit delete record deleted return now we just have scott so if i come back into here browse Jean Grey has been removed. So what we've just done is we have gone through the effort of creating users, listing users, updating users, and deleting users. So that is the full crud for MySQLi.